Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, these are not your father's Masters of the Universe mm, no. figures. Uh, yeah, so we got our first good look at the toys for the second Netflix Masters of the Universe series, which is the uh, CGI series, which is supposed to be the more family-friendly, kid-friendly version. Mm -hmm. And the toys look like rescue heroes. They kind of do, which was in line with the family friendly, but yeah, it, 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 they they're something. Yeah. These are not for me. Not That's for okay. You. They're not for you. They're for the children. Um, this reminds me. I have named them. I have named the Mullet Man and Skeeter. Um, <laughs> Mullet Man and Skeeter. Now look. I mean, I get what they're trying to do. Uh, I I didn't expect these to be, you know, what the fans would want because it's what they're supposedly trying to do with Revelation. Uh, of course, we don't know if that's the case yet, um, but there's something. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 189,000 subs. Woohoo! Thank you for the support. See, he even has an M on there for Mullet Man. Mullet Man. I didn't even I didn't even know that. This doesn't look anything like He-Man. Is that like a mask? It's supposed to go like a helmet? Yes, he has a mask. Okay. This is Battle Armor He-Man. I thought it was maybe his shoulder pads are just getting out of control there. Is it like Battle Cat merged with He-Man? Because it looks like cat oh, ears. Oh, and it looks like a cat and eye. And the spikes, like this is... Oh my gosh, I bet you're right. Okay, so this is right. Okay, so I got to give a shout out to uh, uh, Magna King one on Twitter who posted the pictures of these new figures. I, I guess they're hitting stands somewhere. Oh, well, we might have to go to the store. So this is the new He-Man, which we kind of already got a look at him on the poster. They had promotional piece where he was on like really spiky Battle Cat. Oh, I'm sorry, I just can't. Looks like a really, like like Guardians of the Galaxy on steroids. Now it does look, uh, you know, looking at the designs, this version of He-Man looks a lot more sci-fi than the previous versions of He-Man. And you know, I'll tell you what, because it, it is one piece and it's really bulky. It's easier for kids to play with, uh, especially like yeah. younger kids, because, you know, with the fine motor, it, it's, changing the faces and the hands out for little kids, let's be honest, is not a good thing, which is why some of the toy lines in the past didn't perform as well as the original, because the originals were built with kids in mind. Yeah, so this is a Skeletor. Um, a Skeeter. Skeeter. I call him Skeeter. Some people point out it looks like Green Goblin. Yeah, some people say that that uh, he actually looks like a Fortnite character, He-Man. Kind of does. And then this is Battle Armor He-Man, which to me looks like Battle Cat merged with I think it is it? I can't I don't know. tell from the picture. Uh, it looks like Battle Cat's armor, like the spiky... And there's a cat face on the, the yeah. chest. Yeah. Oh, that's creepy. They, well, you know, there's worse ways to merge with your cat, which I don't recommend. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I recommend none of those things. Now, love your cat. Just don't love your cat. Now, it's interesting. This is supposed to be like an H, but also looks like twin swords. So I wonder if they're going back to the, the original premise of Masters of the Universe, which is He-Man had half the power sword. Skeletor had the other half. And you need both halves to put them together to open Castle Grayskull. I don't know, it could be. Or it could just, you know, be a red Or it could age. just be that's a, a sword with a line in the middle. Chopsticks? I, I, no, I think it's like one sword with a line in the I don't know. But it was like an H and an M. Like, oh, look, He-Man. Even though when he's battle cat mode, he just has, he's just man-man. <laughs> he's man? Oh, my God. That would be the next, that would be the next Master of the Universe character. He's man-man. I'm just trying to figure out, okay, his body is oddly shaped. His hips are way lower than they should be. And he's got like these, like, I mean, okay, yeah, he got the idea of like the, the, the weird legs that the He-Man figures used to have. Um... But he's just weird looking. He's just like yeah, it's proportionately a, unusual. We don't know much about this line. Um, they had a write up on, on comicbookmovie.com. You can see here's, here's yeah. I remember when these came out. Yeah, and Battle Cat was very very spiky. This looked very nineties, like extreme. He man. It reminds me of his body. The way it's done is like How to Train Your Dragon, like his dad. Yeah. yeah, you know, it kind of reminds me of that. It even looks dragon esque in the character. Like, how, it looks like they they have all the artists from How to Train Dragon working on this. I, I believe the animation studio. No, the animation studio that worked on Troll Hunters, I think, is working on this one. Okay, because I was like, there's some. I, I don't know. I bet if you look, there's there might be some connection there because that's what the art style reminds me of. Yeah. Now they do have you know quite a bit of cred here. They've got people worked on uh, well Descendants, uh, Justice League. 
Uh, Jeff Matsuda from The Batman, which I can kind of see a little bit of his Voltron, style. Voltron, I don't know. Voltron. So is it how much shipbait is going to be in this? Um, I don't know. The only two characters we've seen so far are He-Man and Skeletor, I guess if you consider Battle Cat. Yeah, I think this is Battle Cat's armor just on, on He-Man. I you know I don't know what to, I don't know what to say he about this. He's a poor pussy and protected. <laughs> He's <laughs> pussy protector, he man. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this one because they they said right out of the gate this was going to be a different take on he man for it's younger. For, kids. for yeah, and I, you know they probably did some marketing research and they're like kids like the chunky the chunky rescue hero figures. Well, our son did. Like yeah. he loved rescue heroes and he loved the galactic heroes that were the star Wars ones too. Yeah. Um, I don't, to me, it looks much like rescue heroes as they do other things, but I get what you're, what you're saying. Yeah. They're like the chunky, the big chunky. Well, they're even figures. the class, the originals, yeah. they were like in the classics out now, they're more like a, just like a, a chunkier figure because mm. for ki- when they're actually for children, um, sometimes they need that cause they don't have the fine motor skills. So, you know, I get why they did this. Um, I just can't get, I just, I'm trying, I'm trying to be like, okay, <laughs> I have got so far removed, but you know, so it's weird that they're doing like two different, two different flavors of He-Man for Netflix. Like they're covering all the bases. Hey, I'm like, surprised you're allowed to have this big bulky characters. Aren't those, isn't that toxic masculinity right there? Right there. Right? Unfair body expectations for children. Oh, <gasps> how dare they? How very dare they? It it does look like I mean this version especially kind of gives me the uh, live action movie vibe, kind of the color mm-hmm. tro- and the you know I I don't know um I have to see more to be honest yeah well here's here's the write up for that version of He Man again it's called He Man the Masters of the Universe because they can't come up with another another title for it. Uh, on the planet Eternia, a young lost prince discovers the powers of Grayskull and transforms into He Man, Master of the Universe. The classic battle between He-Man and Skeletor rages to new heights as both hero and villain forge new and mighty teams, a new generation of heroes fighting for the fate of us all. In the end, who will become master of the universe? The only ones you're getting the names of are He-Man and Skeletor. They're saying that they're other, they're other people, but they're saying new gener. you know. So are these going to be other characters? Is it going to be like the future? I don't know, but they're not saying who the other characters are. So we had to get characters we know, or just He Man and Skeletor, the other characters you know, and now you're getting other characters uh, I don't like know. I don't know. With man, a bunch of women. Man man, man woman. Woman, yeah. Man tour, man or woman or Manator would be kinda Manator. Cool. Yeah, it's like all the He Man guys is either ended in man or or, you know. Um that's why I was wondering Stink or was Stink or they could call him Stink Man. Stank no. Man. Or Stinker. <laughs> stonk man stonk like oh, he'll, oh, look, stonks, okay. he'll look like elon musk you there know, you go um, yeah that's I all know. watch out for the musk of stonk man <laughs> scented. he's scented uh, i just i don't know i mean like i i, I said <laughs> uh, I, are, i'm not into these no but, i'm definitely not um into them. These are, are for the children. These are um, for the children. Yeah. And look, I mean, I, I at least in this case, right out of the gate, they were up front and they said, look, this one's going to be. And they had toys right out of the gate, too. Yeah. Interesting, because the she and the Princesses of Power was supposed to be for the children. Didn't have toys until the very, very end. They went on clearance rather quickly. It's for the 22-year-old children. Yeah, who don't uh, buy stuff anyway. Who don't buy stuff. So I, I don't know. I mean, it might be okay. I will. This one I might actually check out. I'm, I'm just kind of curious but it does give me it looks more like the live action masters of the universe like the the techno kind of castle gray skull thing going on here and also uh the new adventures of he-man which was i was called you know space he-man mm-hmm. and i was a kid and i was like totally confused like he-man disappears for a couple of years and when he comes back he's laid off the steroids and he's gone to outer space like josie and the pussycats it was very weird. It was like, oh. I have it, never seen it, to be honest. It wasn't that good. <laughs> Some people like it, but it was. I didn't think it was that good. The figures didn't look anything like Masters of the Universe. They were like oversized G.I. Joe figures. It was just, it was weird. It was a weird concept. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, I get why they did. I mean, I get why they make the figure. They're actually for kids. Yeah. You can tell they're for kids. Um, so with kids, you're going to expect them to do a lot more getting away with things. Like, I mean, come on. Let's be honest. He-Man, when it came out scented moss man and a, a skunk dude i mean you think about some of the he-man figures when they came out um they were creative and they pushed the envelope and mostly it was just reused parts and um you know you're laughing because i'm not wrong um but you know i think 
they're going for the idea that they want to attract kids. Yeah. And this, I get that they're trying to attract kids. Like with She and the Princess of Power, as much as they tried to say it was for kids, it was clearly not for kids. No. This one, you could tell right out of the gate that that's the audience they're trying to, to you know, pander to. And, you know, I don't think that they're failing there because they're unusual looking. They, they, I think they're different enough that kids would be interested in them. Yeah, I mean, they do look different on the shelf because a lot of the stuff you see now is like the Marvel character. And that was what set He-Man apart from other action figures when it came out because at that point it was all Star Wars figures and G.I. Joe figures and all of a sudden here came these big five, six inch He-Man super buff All right, it was like, like, what the heck is this? When they came out, people were like, what the hell is this? Now I want to point out the box art on this is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, what I see of it. I don't know the back of it, but the, like here they got like the Castle Grayskull up here mm-hmm. and different stuff. Uh, and that's very, that reminds me of the old, you know, types of toys. Um, I don't know. I, I have to find these. I want to see them in person. Um, yeah, I, I, I have to admit, I'm curious. I'm curious too, because they, they actually. You want to see if he merges with this cat. I do. I want to <laughs> see if he. <laughs> well, one of the people on this is Voltron. It's from Voltron. And we know what cat merging looks like. Oh, geez, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm just kind of curious, too, because they actually have, like, power attacks and stuff. So the original He-Man figures, they all had, after the first series, they all mm-hmm. had, like, special abilities. They had their own shtick. They had their own little thing. They, so I would like to see He-Man figures do that again. Like, if you've got new characters, they have to do something. You know, like, they, they used to have, like, you were thinking kids, they had, like, Snout Spout and Cobra Khan. Right. That would, they were water, but you know, because squirt guns mm-hmm. are fun. So let's get an elephant that squirts. But I'm saying, if you looked at that when they first came out, compared to what came before it, you'd be like, what the hell, too? Yeah. Kids loved it because it was different and it was something that excited them visually. And I think that's what's going on here. As I think that's what they're going for anyway. Yeah. Um, even though Skeletor's head looks like it's floating in the middle of nowhere. But um, I wanted to bring up something else that's kind of related, but not. Uh, we got a new book and it's really, really, really good. And so I wanted to make sure I mentioned it because. It's a very good book. It's very impressive. Yeah, Dark Horse did this uh, guide with a. Uh, they had some input from some uh, pretty notable He Man collectors. It, it's basically a complete guide of. Uh, Up to, until like classics and stuff. Yeah, like every Masters of the Universe and Shira figure released like ever. So I think we're going to sh- show people some of that. Yeah. You can get it on Kindle for like 18, or you can get the hardcover book. I got it for less than that. Um, it's a beautiful book. Yeah, it is. It is very, uh, very good. But I mean, it's freaking huge. Dark Horse put this together. It's um, big. It's 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 heavy. Yeah. The pictures are fantastic. I love it because when I'm doing like sheer toys and stuff, sometimes I'm like, when I'm trying to buy a new figure, I'm like trying to remember what came with it. And if I can't remember, I can go to the, to look in the book and it'll show you here's all the parts that came with it to make sure I had it. Or if I wanted to, you know make sure I, you know, I did something to how I, sometimes I try to get the hair back to what it was like in the package or something like that. I can go here and see a very good picture of it as opposed to trying to see a blurry one on the internet. So I do like it for that reason. It does. It seems to only go up to like, the. it's not into the origins. It goes up to the classics, but it doesn't have the origins. Yeah. Like it goes, that. it goes up to classics uh, through super sevens. Right. Uh, line too. But the, the brand, brand, brand new He-Man figures that just came out yeah, late origins. last year or not. Yeah, they're not the origins. Yeah. yeah. They aren't in it. It's not to the new, new stuff because it's probably out, you know, put out for pu- publication and you know, print and all that before that. But it's really, really good book. It's very expensive, but you can get a Kindle version. Yeah. Um, I recommend it. It's pretty dang awesome. They have interviews in there. Mm-hmm. Um, with people that created the toys and stuff, it's it's really really cool. So you gonna show them the book? Yeah, we're gonna thumb through it, and uh, that's how we're gonna wrap it up. Because one of these days, you know, love them or hate them, these He Man figures are probably gonna be in another volume of this book. Mm-hmm. So there we go. So this might maybe this will be somebody else's childhood. You know? Yeah. Who might have judged? As long as they don't mess it up too bad. I mean, <laughs> we'll see. It's got. I mean, it's got good people working on. It. Might be okay. Hopefully. All right. So here we go. All right, guys, so here's the book, The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Uh, there we go. And this just came, what, yesterday? Yeah, I got it yesterday. yesterday. And it, it's pretty thorough. I mean, this has, like, every era of He-Man in it. Uh, it's got She-Ra in it. It's got, uh, you know, the vintage stuff. It's got the classics. I mean, there's a page for every figure and accessory, apparently, and playset ever made. Um, I mean, this is this is just an ex- exhaustive tome of human lore, and definitely worth the. I think it's definitely worth the money. Yeah, we got, got Shira. Brushable hair, goodness. 
You had a lot of this stuff at one point. Fix this. The uh, interviews. With, interviews. You know, the women that didn't work on anything until the new women worked on it. You know, yeah, I know, they, right? Yeah, and they have. Yeah, we got 2002, uh, which is still my favorite cartoon version, I think. Oh, I forgot they had. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Twitter. The War Whale. <laughs> I remember the War Whales. They were on clearance. I mean, I'm, I'm not thin, so I can't say anything, but I just, found that, I just thought Twitter when I saw that name. Yeah, then we've got, uh, you know, we've got the classic characters. We've got uh, Captain Quinn, because, yeah, uh, he man's actually half, half earthen. Mm-hmm. Um, and these look a lot like filmation versions of the characters, which I think is pretty cool. I don't want to show the whole book because you're supposed to go and get the book. But yeah, I know, but it's so cool. It's a very cool book. Oh, here comes Ozzy. He wants to say hello. Our own little battle cat. Hey, battle cat, come here. Ozzy Z. 